Hey guys, welcome back to another Disney pin mail video. If you guys are new here, my name is Travis, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the Disney pin trades and purchases that I've made over the past few weeks. So let's get started. All right, so starting off with the first package, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. So this is one of the Shields of Fantasy pins from the Shields of Fantasy pin set. So in this pin set, they have The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan, and Sleeping Beauty. And this one is the Little Mermaid Shields of Fantasy pin. So here's a close-up of the Shields of Fantasy, the Little Mermaid pin. So this is a hinged pin, so it opens up. But I just want to take note of the front. I think it's really pretty. I like how it has the seashell on the top and it has the dingle hopper there. And in the center, it has the E for air. But I really like the sparkling embellishments and the blue with the water. I think it looks amazing, but let's go ahead and open it up. So when you open it up over on the left-hand side, it says the Little Mermaid has a nice gold finished background. And then the actual pin shows Ariel and Eric with the boat scene, kiss the girl. She's in her blue dress. She looks so pretty. So here's a close up of the back. It has a Disney copyright on the left. This has two pin posts, has the FAQ up top made in China and this is a limited edition of 1500. Do you guys have any of the other Shields of Fantasy pins, like the Peter Pan, the Sleeping Beauty, or the Beauty and the Beast? Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any of those. All right, so the next pin that I'm gonna show you guys is a Cinderella pin. And this one is from, I don't know if it's an artist, but her name is Allison Lefcourt, L-E-F-C-O-R-T. And she has different princess pins. I think she has a Tinkerbell pin and a Snow White in this same series. So the one that I got is actually the Cinderella blue portrait pin. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of this real quick. So here's a close-up of the pin. I think the details on the front are really amazing. I kind of like the black and white silhouette effect. Um, the blue is very vibrant in the background and it has her signature on the bottom left there, Allison Lefcourt. And on the back, it says 2003, it has her name, Allison Lefcourt Collection, and this is a limited edition of 1500. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but over there on the right hand side, it says AP. So this is actually an artist proof pin. So if you guys are unfamiliar with APs or artist proof pins, they're actually a limited run of pins that they'll send to the artist and the artist will check the colors, make sure everything looks good on the pin, and then they'll give the final okay for them to make the normal production run. So even though this says limited edition of 1500, this is an artist proof of that pin. And usually I wanna say they do about five to 15 artist proofs. It could be a little bit less or a little bit more, but there are very limited runs. So we don't really collect Cinderella pins. Our main princess pins are Rapunzel, Ariel, and Jasmine. Those are our main princesses with a little bit of Aurora, but I think this will be a great trader and it's gonna go into our trader books. So next up is a villain's pin. I think this pin is really cool. And this is a Dr. Facilier pin. It's from the 13 Reflections of Evil. And this is from one of the box sets. I'm gonna show you a close up of this pin real quick. I really like all the details in the pin. I like the red translucent paint that you can see right there. I think that's really cool. And then it has like those little spirit guys next to him. His hat is very detailed and it has the number 13 from the 13 Reflections of Evil. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts. It has the traditional Mickey waffle back. It has the 13 from the pin event and limited edition of 250. And there's something special about the back of this pin. And if you guys see it, please leave a comment down below. I like to see if you can find what I'm talking about. So I think this Dr. Facilier pin is really cool. It's a very low limited edition pin. So I think it'll be a great trader. We do collect villains, um, but our main villains are Maleficent, Ursula, Gaston, a little bit of Hook. Um, but I think this will be a great trader, so it'll go straight into our trading books. So another fun fact about this pin and the other pins that are part of this series from the 13 Reflections of Evil pin event at Disney is that these pins were released on September 13th of 2013, which was a Friday, it was Friday the 13th. And that's why that pin event was a villains themed pin event, which that was around the time that Stacy and I had started getting into pin trading. We didn't go to this pin event, but I heard it was amazing, and maybe one day they'll do a princess pin event, who knows? All right, so next up, let's go ahead and open up this pin package. All right, so I've been waiting for this pin to come for about a couple weeks now. Um, this is actually a pin that I purchased, and this is because I'm a D23 member, but I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit disappointed because the pins are like super small, super tiny. But this is the D23 Goofy Movie 25th Anniversary On The Open Roadshow pin set. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of this real quick. So here's a close-up of the pins. On the top left, you have Bigfoot with Lake Destiny. On the bottom right, you have Lester's Possum Park. 
and then on the bottom left you have the power line pin. So I think the card is really pretty. I like all the colors and details of it, but to be honest with you, I thought these pins were gonna be a lot bigger. They're really tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a size comparison real quick. So as you can see, there's a Mickey pin back next to the Bigfoot pin. I mean, the Mickey pin back is almost as big as the pin, so I would consider these like little mini pins, which I'm really surprised at because in the picture, I thought they were gonna be bigger pins. I thought this card was gonna be a lot bigger. I just feel like really underwhelmed with how it came. I just can't believe how tiny these pins are. They're so tiny. They're like the size of a dime. They're super small, but I thought the card was gonna be a lot bigger. I was planning on framing this and I'm just, I, I don't know, like it was like 40 bucks with shipping to get this. So I'm kind of three pins and a card for 40 bucks. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I love Goofy movies, so I mean, I'm excited to have it, but I just thought the pins were going to be a lot bigger and I thought this card was going to be a lot bigger and something that I could frame. I just expected a little bit more out of this pin set. So I will say, even though these pins are super small on this pin set, I really do like the backer card that it came on. And I've talked about this before in some of my other videos, but whenever the backer card like coincides with whatever the pins are, I think it just adds like that little bit extra touch to the pin to have a backer card that goes with it. But I think the backer card is really pretty. I like how it kind of has like the route that they took to get to the Powerline concert. I like how it says 2020 on the bottom right there. So I think the backer card is awesome. I just wish the pins were a little bit bigger. So on the back of the pin, it has one pin post, two little nubs, and it has the D23 symbol. All right, so next up is another villain's pin, and this is from The Little Mermaid. And yes, it is Ursula, but she is in her Vanessa form. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of this pin right now. So here's a close-up of the Vanessa pin. I really like this pin. I think her face looks great. The details on it are really good. I like the little purple rhinestones that it has bordering the outside. I think that's really cool. And then the shell that's hanging around her neck is a movable element. It's kind of like a dangle piece. So if you move the pin, it kind of dangles right there. So I think that's really cool. So I really like this pin. It's definitely going to be going into my collection. And now I'm going to show you what the back of the pin looks like. So here's a close-up of the back of the pin. And this is from the Disney pin celebration in 2002. So it has one pin post, has the Disney copyright and the Disney pin trading logo, and this is a limited edition of 3,500. So I think this pin is really cool. I like this little dangle element of her necklace right here where Ariel's voice is being held, but this is definitely something that's gonna go into my collection. All right, so the next pin, this one feels a little bit heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. All right, so this is a jumbo pin and this pin is awesome. So this pin is from the jumbo coin series and this is the black pearl. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of this pin because there are so many details and this pin is amazing. So here's a close-up of the pin and come on, this pin is amazing. There's so many sparkling embellishments all over this pin, it just glitters everywhere. I really like the top left where it has the moon with the sky, it's all glittery, it really shines. I like the water on the bottom with the light blue and dark blue. The black pearl just looks amazing. This is a jumbo pin. It's like a three inch pin. It's huge. But I'm going to show you a size comparison real quick. So there's a Mickey pin back to the left of the pin and you can just tell this pin is jumbo. I also wanted to show you on the edge of this pin that it kind of has a coin texture to the side where it's kind of depressed a little bit and then raised. So it pretty much looks like an actual coin. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has a gold finish, two pin posts, it says Disney pin trading 2009 and this is a limited edition of 300. So I absolutely love this pen. It's definitely gonna be going into my collection because I'm a Pirates of the Caribbean collector, but I just like all the sparkling elements to it. I love that it's a jumbo pen. It's like three inches, it's huge. And it's a limited edition of 300. There's other pens that are in this set. I believe there's a Tinkerbell pen. There's an Ariel pen that I've been after for a long time. I haven't been able to trade for it yet, but one day I'm gonna get it. So the next pen that I received is a Sidekick from one of our favorite princesses, and it's Rapunzel's sidekick. Can you guess who it is? That's right, it's Pascal. So let me go ahead and show you a close-up of this pin. So here's a close-up of the Pascal pin. This is actually a Disneyland Paris pin. I believe it was from the booster set that had Maximus, Rapunzel, and Flynn Rider. But I think Pascal looks super cute. I think the details on this pin look really nice. His eyes are very vibrant and the colors are very vibrant. I like how on the top it kind of has a little bit of texture for his back. 
I think that's really cool. So leave me a comment down below and let me know, do you have any Disneyland Paris pins? And also let me know if you do, do you think the quality is a little bit better on Paris pins versus Walt Disney World Resort pins? Because I do. I think the quality on Disneyland Paris pins, they just seem to be of a higher caliber. I just think they're a little bit better than Walt Disney World pins. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. So here's a look at the back of the pin. It says Disney Pin Trading 2011 has one pin post and it says Disneyland Paris. So we do have a side collection of Pascal, so this is something that we're going to be holding on to. But leave me a comment down below, do you guys watch that Tangled cartoon series called Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure? Because I do, don't judge me. Here's a fun fact for you, I might have mentioned this before, but Tangled is the only movie out of any movie, not just Disney, but any movie ever, that I've actually watched two times in one day, it was that good. So if you haven't seen Tangled, check it out, and definitely check out Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, because that's amazing. Alright, so let's check out the next pin real quick. All right, so this is a Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose pin, and I believe this is from one of the box sets that came out a long time ago. This pin's older. It has the old school waffle pattern on the back. This is from 2001, so it definitely has some age to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of it right now. So here's a close-up of the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose pin. This is a smaller pin, but I think it came out really nice. I like the two tones of the green that they use here on the stem of the flower. I like the pink color that they use for the rose, and overall I think it's a really pretty pin. So on the back of this pin, it has the older waffle pattern. It has one pin post has the Disney Pin Trading logo 2001. So this pin is something that will be going into our trader books. Stacey and I don't really collect too much of Beauty and the Beast. We collect a little bit of Belle, but none of the characters. But you don't really see too many pins of the Enchanted Rose. I think it's a great pin and I think it'll be a good trader. All right, so next up, this is a pin that Stacey and I don't necessarily collect, but it seemed like a really good pin to have for a trader, so we picked it up. And this is the Disney Auctions Bambi and Thumper pin. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close up of it right now. I think this pin came out really nice. I like how Bambi is kind of peeking over the side of the pin and Thumper is doing the same thing on the top of the pin. So on the back of this pin, it has two pin posts. It has the Disney auction symbols on the back and then it reads um, Disney auctions, limited edition of 500, Disney auctions exclusive. So I really like how you have Thumper here on the top. He's kind of like peeking over and then you have Bambi over there on the bottom kind of peeking up and they're like best friends, so I just think it's a really cool pin, and I think it'll make a great trader. All right, so we're down to the last package. Where did the time go? I don't know, but I've been after this pin for a really long time. You know that I've been saving the best for last. I've been after this pin for about four years now, and I had to do a part trade, part cash deal for this pin. I'm super excited to have it. This is a WDI gold frame princess pin, and if you guys wanna guess what princess it might be, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna show you right now, here we go. And this is the Ariel WDI gold frame pin, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So these pins are super hard to find, especially the Ariel one. I mean, the other ones in the set too are very difficult to find, but it took me so long to find this. I'm so happy to have it in my collection, and it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this pin out of the plastic and show you a close-up real quick. So here's a close-up of the WDI limited edition Little Mermaid pin. This pin is gorgeous. So I really love all of the gold frame pins in this set. So these are gold frame because the whole outside are gold. So that's why they call it the gold frame series. Um, I think her face looks amazing. I like how Flounder's there holding her little flower. I like the little sparkling embellishments here. Just overall, it is a beautiful pin. And for size comparison, I put a Mickey pin back up here so you can see how big this pin is. This is definitely a grail pin for me. So here's a look at the back of the pin. It has the Imagineering hats there. Two pin post. It says Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive, limited edition of 250, and it has the FAQ in black on the right. You guys, I cannot get over how pretty this pin is. This pin is so beautiful. If you haven't seen any of these pins in person, I'm telling you, these pins are amazing. So I'm super excited to finally have this pin in my set. I don't know if you guys have any of these WDI gold frame pins, but they are just beautiful. The details on them are amazing. They're jumbo pins and they're really low limited edition. They're limited edition of 250. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this pin mail video. If you had a favorite pin, please leave a comment down below. Let me know which pin was your favorite from this haul. Mine obviously is this WDI aerial gold frame pin, but some honorable mentions for me were definitely that black pearl jumbo gold coin pin. That pin is amazing. It's limited edition too of 300, so that was amazing. 
And even though the pins were really tiny, I really did like the D23 Goofy Movie pin set. Um, I love the backer card on it, and maybe I'll still frame it, maybe I won't, I don't know, but I think that pin was amazing. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.